Welcome to this episode of Door Hardware Nerds. I'm your host, Mia Merrill. Today, I'm joined by Tom Seidel. Tom, please introduce yourself and tell us about your role here. Hi, Mia. Uh, my name's Tom Seidel. I'm the manager of training and education for Asa Abloy uh, Academy. Been in the industry about uh, 31 years and uh, happy to be here. Well, welcome. Thank you for coming on today. All right, so can you tell us what Asa Abloy Academy does within the company? <laughs> Asa Abloy Academy is the training wing of Asa Abloy Opening Solutions. We are responsible for training of both internal customers being Asa Abloy employees, as well as external customers, meaning distributors, architects, and users. All right, so can you tell me about the team members that are involved in the academy? Yes, um, we have a great group uh, of trainers within Asa Abloy. Uh, in the academy, uh, we have myself, we have Russell Corvo, who's a training specialist. We have uh, Chad Tibbetts, who does a lot of our training as well as our uh, some of our professional development with uh, John Lang. We have Katie Flower, who is our codes expert. You're very well aware of Katie. Um, she also does uh, a a lot of training all over the country for us. Uh, Guy Robinson manages our Ontario, California training center and is, uh, is well versed on uh, keying and locksmith uh, side of the business. By extension, we also have um, Rose Cliff Olson, who is a door group uh, trainer. Uh, she's not directly in the academy, but uh, you know, we do uh, we do use her when uh, when we have the ability to uh, to bring Rose in on classes, and uh, also on the electromechanical side, we have uh, Russ uh, Anderson and Roger Schmidt, who are based out of our Phoenix location, who do all of the technical training for our electromechanical products uh, based out of the Phoenix location. Great, I mean, wonderful team. We all know Katie; she has our code corner here. Love her, yes. uh, and we're grateful that she gives us some of her time here. All right, so how does the Academy deliver some of its training? Well, there are several different, uh, different ways we can get training to our end users. Um, one of them is online classes. Uh, we have about 70 current online classes that are designed to be taken within an hour or so, small bites so that you're not sitting behind a computer all day. Uh, we also offer instructor-led training classes, which are from four hours to eight hours to multiple days at our uh, training centers, which are all over the country. We uh, are also doing some virtual training. Uh, when COVID hit a few years ago and we were locked down, we started doing virtual classes. We pivoted from instructor-led to virtual instructor-led. What we're seeing now that we're able to go out and do live training, there's also a need for some expanded virtual classes, uh, not the one hour quick hits like we have been doing, but multiple hour brand centric, product centric classes for those who are just unable to travel due to you know, work restrictions and things like that. Um, we're also looking at some on-demand video content within the uh, learning uh, experience platform as well, where we're leaning on the operating companies who are creating some great video content. We're going to house that information there so it can be a one-stop shop for everyone. For our salespeople, we have also developed some what we call DSS lunch and learn programs. So our local reps who are calling on those customers every day can use some properly branded Asa Abloy training content that they can deliver, again, designed to be an hour in length. If a customer wants longer training, we can stack them on you know, one after the other and do an entire day's worth of training. Uh, that's all available to the uh, DSS reps on the extranet. You mentioned live training. Mm -hmm. uh, where would that be held? We have several live training sessions that we conduct in the Northeast. We have Berlin, Connecticut and New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, moving down the uh, eastern seaboard, we do have a location in Monroe, North Carolina, as well as Atlanta, Georgia. In the center part of the country, we have a location in Chicago, Illinois, as well as Dallas, Texas. Now, when we get to the uh, western uh, half of the state, we have LA, Ontario, California. We also have a few other satellite locations that we uh, have ability to use. Uh, the local DSS offices also will host classes for us from time to time. We have our trainers 
regionalized as well in those locations so that uh, it's, it's very easy for us to get you know, to the location to deliver this training for the customer. I would be remiss if I did not also include our mobile instructor-led training vehicle that we have, the MIT. Uh, when that started a few years ago, it was an installation-only training center. Um, I've kind of trade, you know, traded the name from the MIT, the mobile installation training, to the MILT, but nobody wants to call it MILT. We can go around to the locations and actually conduct several of our instructor-led classes, not just the hands-on portion, but uh, we can do keying classes you know, at, a, uh, at a location and invite a lot of distributors, a lot of end users into that location. We can do you know, most of the classes that we do in those uh, you know, brick and mortar locations. So it's, we love having that extra traveling location. Yeah, that sounds really great. Um, can you tell me about the Academy's foundation training program? Yes, that uh, is near and dear to my heart. Uh, the foundation training program is a six week long intensive training program, and it's designed for people that are new into the industry. For four of the six weeks you are traveling, we start out in Connecticut, in New Haven for a week, in Berlin for a week. And we talk all about architectural hardware, applications. We get into part numbers, pricing, and we actually do a, a, a project where they take off and actually bid a project before the end of that second week. The third week, they get to return back to their office and catch up on emails, et cetera, et cetera. We have a couple homework courses that are done on the academy. And the fourth week is in uh, Mason City, Iowa, where we talk all about doors and frames. It kind of follows that same path. The fifth week is back in the office, catching up, doing some uh, preliminary work for the sixth week, which is held in Ontario, California, which is all about electronics and access control and systems. And we figure by the end of that six weeks, we take a person, say, has three to six months experience in the industry. They know a little bit, but we've just jump started their career to about two years worth of knowledge you know, fed with a fire hose, you know, for that, uh, for that student. And we've been getting excellent feedback from the people who have attended. Uh, and it's, for me, uh, in the six years, seven years that we've been doing this program, it is awesome to see all of the Os Obloy people that have come through it and then moved up within the organization. A few years ago, we added uh, distributors to this. Uh, distributors can send their uh, employees as well. Uh, the program is at zero cost to the customer other than their transportation and lodging. We are very, very proud. Uh, through that six weeks, they get to see all, uh, a lot of the factories, they get factory tours, they get to see how we do it, they get to see the culture of the company, and they get to meet all of our trainers and uh, you know all the different personalities that uh, get to intermix in those six weeks. It's a blast. Yeah, it sounds really great. I know I've given some tours uh, mm -hmm. to some of our foundations groups going through, and I think it's a really valuable program mm -hmm. for anybody that we, attends. We're very, very proud of that program. All right. Thanks for coming on today, Tom. To learn more about Asa Abloy Academy and the courses that are offered, please visit learn.asaabloyacademy.com, and I will put a link to that below. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Mia.